Spark Therapeutics Luxterna would be the first approved therapy in the U.S. that replaces or repairs a defective gene inherited from one's parents. F-L-I-C-K-R, Helga B-I-R-N-A-J-O-N-A-S-D-O-T-T-I-R-A panel of 16 independent advisors to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA voted unanimously today October 12th to recommend the approval of Luxterna, a gene therapy meant to treat labor congenital amaurosis, a rare, inherited form of childhood blindness and other retinal disorders, Stat News reports. If the agency agrees with the panel's recommendation, Luxterna would be the first gene therapy aimed at correcting a congenital defect approved in the U.S. The therapy, developed by Philadelphia-based Spark Therapeutics, is injected directly into the eye in a one-time treatment. Billions of virus particles deliver a functional copy of the RPE65 gene, which encodes a protein necessary for normal vision and is mutated in patients with certain vision disorders, to the retina. So far, more than two dozen children and adults with RPE65 mutations have been treated with Luxterna in the context of clinical trials, and some 93% of them have shown improved light sensitivity and functional vision. The effects are long-lasting, with improvements continuing for at least four years in some patients that have been tracked that long. If my child or myself had this condition I would not hesitate for a moment getting treatment with Luxterna, Albert McGuire, a retinal disease specialist at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia who led the Luxterna clinical trials, said at the advisory panel hearing today, according to Stat News. If approved, Luxterna would be the first gene therapy that fixes an inherited genetic disorder in the U.S. The official title of first approved gene therapy goes to Novartis CAR T-cell therapy, green-lighted this August. The FDA must make its decision by January 12, 2018. This is what I believe medicine is going to be like for the next 20, 30, if not 50 years, Spark CEO Jeff Marazzo tells MIT Technology Review of these types of gene therapies. I think this is the beginning of an age that is going to fundamentally change medicine. See targeting DNA U processing. Combine transcription and genome data from multiple tissues in hundreds of human donors reveal links between genotype and gene expression across the body. Tissue recipients were treated as guinea pigs, says investigation leader. Mice receiving the treatment produced their own monoclonal antibodies and survived infection with the life-threatening pathogen Pseudomonas aeruginosa.